Okay, I'm getting ready to go out. Let's get another making of uh, video. This is a, oh, you'll see when it is. But to put the mount up there like that so we can have it ready. Uh, like that. Oh, I don't know, you know, I don't care about that, but I gotta go now for my morning walk. But uh, let me put on my, uh, I guess I'm blocking the light. I'll put on this other light. Oh, yeah. Go, go. Like that. I use this because uh, I always put, or well, when I'm doing the morning walk, because I walk briskly. Well, I, sometimes I walk leisurely. Ooh, the brother using the big, the big words. Uh, <laughs> the big words. It's funny, I was watching 5150, watch, yeah, watching 5150 on the internet the other day, and uh, I guess Darlene O.G. Ortiz, she has a new uh, thing where she does uh, the word of the week, the word of the word of the whatever the moment. She used the word guffaw. She put the guffaw. She was just like guffaw for something like that, but she pronounced it wrong. I'm going like, Darlene, come on, baby. If you want to give us the word, pronounce it right. And the funny thing on the Internet, they have they have where you can go. These dictionaries, they tell you how to pronounce the word, you know. So there you go. Where's my... Uh, Where's my, uh, my, oh, headphones are over there. I won't put that one up just when I go out. Uh, uh, what am I doing? Oh, I got to do Instagram real quick because it's, uh, today is Thursday, October. Let me check and see if it is. <laughs> Thursday, October 6th. You know what that means? Come on now. Do you know what that means? Well, I'm going to tell you what it means. It means that, well, I won't tell you what it means. I'm going to do it on Instagram. <laughs> it's for making up, right? Oh, by the way, you have the, the new set. Uh, just so you, the new set, the Harlem set. Let me show you the Harlem set real quick. Uh, uh, on this, on the, I guess it would be the left side, right? On the left side, I have my, uh, you know, I have a symbol, right? My symbol is... Um, the wisdom knot, uh, Naisapo, I say Naisapo, that's, I think it's more, it's a Khan, it's a Khan symbol, and I really like that wisdom knot, under it I have the, uh, the African hat that my wife made, because oh, she's an African designer, you see it on the other side, it's reversible, so that's one side, reverse it to the other side, and I have a, a hat series that I, when I wear that hat, I do selfies with people, and what am I doing, here's the thing, I, I do selfies with people, like that, of course, a normal radio a logo. This one was made. Uh, this thing comes from a shirt that was my wife who just put it under my, on my other jacket, my reversible jacket. I won't show you the jacket right now. Um, hey, everything I have with her, I do the, the reversible thing. That's interesting. Um, and uh, this is, uh, I think it was made for a Johnny, Johnny of Ed, of, of um, Orville, India. They call him the, the Leonardo da Vinci of Orville. Um, I wonder if Johnny's still alive, man. I really want to go back and check and check on him. Anyway, so he he did that for me. This, this hand painted or whatever it is, and it's no more radio. No more radio is my, 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 no, my identity. My I guess well, I don't what you call my company. I, I don't have a company. Oh, or did I say on the on the set on the and put on a set? As you can see, you got the Bronx, you know, Bronx and your NYC hat, right, like that. Uh, oh, and, oh, I'll, I'll do that when I. No, I'll pull this up right now. This is this is going to be Jermaine to what uh, what the Instagram is going to be today. So let me put it over here. And as I go over to the side, let me put it down here. And of course, we have, uh, oh, not of course, but then on the other side, really not this bookshelf, whatever it is. But I have, uh, well, maybe it is, Jermaine. On this side, we have, uh, let's see if I can get it here. Okay, here we go. Uh, well, this is that. Uh, it's not really on this. Well, it's, it's lays on a set when I do the Sunday services. Yes, there. But um, here you have for my Gullah readings. You know, you have the kente cloth that I use, and of course the uh, the, the uh, Gullah Gichi Bible, the New Testament, and uh, and of course it's the Ogun hat. I call it Ogun hat. Everybody thinks something. I don't listen to anybody else. Ogun uh, when in the Yoruba culture. Well, the Yoruba culture when it went to um, Brazil, it became Condon Blay, and Ogun's colors was, well, in, in, in Nigeria, 
the origin of the Yoruba culture. It's the, his color is blue, and in um, Brazil it's blue and white. But when it come, came up through Santa, uh, when it came up through Santa Maria, uh, well through Cuba, the Santa Maria strain it became red, black, and green. Well, a uh, green, black. Let's get the other side right, and a bit of red. So I, well for the for the color readings, I just use the green side like that. And uh, again, this this is a T-shirt that I got from uh, uh, Chimaranga. I wonder if this on the other side from a pan of yeah, Chimaranga Library. Hey, I got to get some more T-shirts from. Them. I have some other T-shirts, and I support them that way. And then this is from a conference that was had. Uh, well, I guess it's in commemoration of a conference that had in 1974 uh, that was happening in Dar es Salaam. I guess it's a pan pan African conference. There you go. Pan African Conference. So that's on that other side. Because, you know, it's the way we build our sets. Okay, so let's keep on going so we can do this Instagram making of and then I can go out and do my my morning walks. My morning walk. Like that. Uh, oh, 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 sorry. Let's get this stand a little bit correct. Oh, come on, then. What's going on here? Come on. Walk. Oh, whoa, whoa, hey, 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 back up. Damn it. Okay, now, now we're gonna get me upset. There we go. Okay, there we go. Let's do it like that. Okay, we'll leave it like that. It's all right. As long as you can get that as I speak to people's for the Instagram. Oh, wait, let me take my morning pills. No, really just one pill, my, oh, some supplements. Coconut water, including, of course, my blood pressure pill. For some reason, I was going good. My purpose went back up. At least the readings I had. I don't know what's going on with that. Okay, that's ready. Oh, I got the glasses. I should cool off the room a little bit. No, oh, I'm a little whatever I am. Okay, let's go. Let's get ready for the Instagram. I'm trying to look good. Stuck my style. Come on, then move out the eye. Put myself in a box corner here. Move this over a little bit just to just still like that. Oh much we'll have that. There we go. Okay. I guess that's alright. There we go. Let's get it, get it, get it. Daddy, tada, tada. I'm not really a percussionist or something like that. I'm not even a musician, even though I've been mistaken for a musician a lot of times. Most of the times, I have no idea. Oh, hey, Instagram, it's me, T, from the Patterson's Taking a Train to Tibet. Hey, this is a moment, or oh, today is uh, Thursday, October the 6th, the 6th, the 6th of October, and it's a 20. 22. You know what that means? Well, this day, a long, a, lo a, lo a long time ago, maybe like 93 years ago, you know, that would be like 1929, there was a, there was a sacred birth of an educator, because six is an education number. You know what I'm saying? Six, if you're born on the, on the sixth, or anything that make, comes up to six, you know, like the, like the 24th of the month, or the, whatever comes up to six, whatever means six, you know? Uh, what's the other one? The fifteenth, whatever it is, right? Uh, that means that uh, your your energy, your your proclivity uh, in numerology. We're speaking right now. I use, I, I, I delve I delve in numerology. I discovered numerology in the in the in the nineties. I was hanging out with Lloyd Strayhorn. It was actually the eighties, I guess. Yeah. Hanging out with Lloyd Strayhorn or whatever it is. I say hanging out. You know, bought his book. You know, got several of his lectures and stuff like or presentations, whatever you want to call it. And um, and and, and I use it as parlor game. 
You know what I mean? Like, like in other words, what happens is I, um, how do I say? Uh, uh, when I was traveling a lot, you know, everybody said, astrology, what's your sign? What's your sign? It's kind of complicated because if you don't know your rising and stuff like that, well, pfft, you know, you're, you're, you're lost. But, but in numerology, it's a lot easier, right? Anyway, back to the point. I, I supposed to be Instagram. Let me real quick. Uh, so the six is, a, is a, called an education number. They're good educators, meaning, well, teachers as well as students, good students, you know, learners and, you know, the passing on of knowledge. And we say that. Well, today, that's day 20, 1929, was born the one and only Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. And his book, The Compensatory Concept, this is the, uh, this is the, 2016 edition of the United Independent Compensatory Code System Concept. It's a uh, compensatory counter-racist code. And uh, this is the expanded revised edition. It came out in uh, 2016, right? Along with the word guide, this is another volume. My word guide happens to be in St. Louis. I think I have a good word guide someplace else, too. I don't know. I, mean, I think I'm just going to order a couple more. But, and, uh, but then he had the original, also here as a as a the thing there, there's a, there's another book. Uh, the original 1984 book was reprinted when this came out. Also, the one with the computer thing on the cover. But I actually have the original, the 1984. It has a, it has a bigger format. You know what I mean? Like this format is like, a, as you see, it's this way. Right? But the other format is like, it's the bigger one. It's like like this, right? I actually have it. I, uh, in fact, I'm at my brother's house. My uh, Dr. James Kanye, he he gifted it to me many years ago, right? And I took it down to South Africa, and then and and took to to Love the Press, which is the uh, those people who know Love the Press, you know Love the Press, but they re, but they bound it for me. I have it in a hard cover bound because it comes in like a soft cover. It's bound there, and it lives in Dimbaza, where I do my Sunday sermons with that particular book. Because that's this this is my uh, how I said my scripture. This book is the scripture book. <laughs> you all have your scriptures on that. There are other scriptures, like you know. I have to look. Hey, look, here's scripture here. Let me show you. Hey, this is scripture. This is like the 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 uh, the New Testament from the Gullah the Gullah Geechee people. I come from the Gullah Geechee people on the maternal side. So that's scripture. Then you have the Holy Bible. That's scripture in there. And the Quran. You have the uh, Bhava Nagiva. I guess it's, I don't. Know, whatever you whatever you use as scripture. Uh, but I use this as scripture. This is my scripture. <laughs> Not that I can't read these other books, but this is scripture, right? Um, so today is his 93rd birthday. <sighs> Nine decades on the planet. Hey, we all should be so fortunate. You know what I mean? I only have seven decades, you know. In fact, if it wasn't for a mistake in geography, Nilly Phil Jr. could be my daddy. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. It's a joke. It's a joke. Y'all look, like it's so serious. But, oh, by the way, this, here's the interesting thing. Talking about my, my other, the book that's in South Africa. Mr. Neely Fuller Jr., he doesn't celebrate his birthday. He only does his, he says there's, there's birthday and there's death day, you know. And uh, so he doesn't celebrate his birthday every year like that. You know what's also interesting? I live in Amakosa of people you know, in that culture in, in, South, in Southern Africa, in the, East, East, in, the, um, in the Eastern Cape, which is like a stronghold for, for the Tosa people, right? So they don't, I mean, tradition, I'm talking about in the tradition, I'm not talking about now when they go get all corrupted by the, you know, the Western, whatever have you, they got to have a birthday, you got to have whatever day, da, 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 da. you got to have a good 21st thing and then, you know, on the 60th thing, whatever it is, right? Like, well, they also only, they really literally in, in, the, in the real thing, not only are they supposed to be vegetarians and only eat meat on celebration time, uh, they also have uh, only celebrated their death. Right, that's why there's so many funerals. I mean, funerals like amazing, like the industry, and well, the and, and birthdays, birthdays, death day, That's what they do. Hey, so Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. No matter what he thinks, because he, you know, he he African to the core, right? So there you go. Happy life day. You know, have a good life day, and uh, thank you for being here for so many years and continuing on and giving us all you've given us, Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. We appreciate it. We being me, T from the Patterson Stick the Train to Tibet, letting you know what I own there. Suspect. Okay, that's done. Well, not done yet. I gotta put it up. And I'll put the brother, the brother, brother wishes. How should I put it? Uh, 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 
notes, notes, this, yeah, 93rd, 93rd, life day. I always say life day. I don't do the whole birthday thing or whatever, breath day. And other people say life, capital L, I, F, E, hyphen. <gasps> oh, come back. Oh, sorry. Don't, don't, don't panic there. Life day of, should I say the extraordinary? He, he, he's humble, so I can't do all that stuff. I just, I've missed the for the of see educator, I won't give him a label of, of Mister. He don't like nothing like that. And he, he, you also also nearly full of junior. No notes, notes, notes. Because he don't. He's not. You know. He's a humble person like that. Put it as Manhattan. Who should I tag? I don't think he has an Instagram or like that. Maybe have the compensatory concept. Let me see if they have a thing. I don't think they do. Uh, no, uh, producejustice.com. Oh, well, yeah. Produce. P R O D U C E. Justice. J U S T R C E. I don't think they have an Instagram. Oh, here they do. They have three sisters. Nearly for Junior, right there. Boom. Tag them. Tagged. Hey, Instagram. You tag and Instagram. Tag you're it. Okay, so that's good. So okay, so that's done. Put it on share. And that goes up. As that's going up. And we're through here. Okay, so I gotta go out from my because you you know ah, you know what this is. You know, this is the making of. Okay. So got to go, got to go, got to go. My morning my morning walk. Um and it was raining all day yesterday, but then again I was running around the city. That's all great. Did I tell you all? Oh, let me tell you again. So really good for uh, uh, something. Uh, um, uh, uh, Walter Hill did a, uh, did a film. It was playing. I, don't, I think it was the last day yesterday. I'm not really sure. And I told everybody to go. To, anyway, at the Village Cinema down in Tulsa, people don't go to movies anyway. At the theater, it was um, um, for something for a dollar. I forget. I noted the thing. Uh, maybe I'll put it in the notes here, whatever it was. Uh Good. I really liked that film. It was really, really good. You no, know, Walter Hill, the guy that did, uh, I guess he came on the scene with The Warriors, right? Uh, the classic The Warriors, right? Uh, about the gang getting from the Bronx uh, to uh, the Bronx, eh, to uh, uh, to Brooklyn. To, oh, no, getting, there was a meeting of gangs, the citywide gangs up in the Bronx, and then things, things went awry. <laughs> And this gang that came from, say, Coney Island, from, from from Brooklyn, they had to get back to Brooklyn and all the things they had to do to get back to Brooklyn. Great film. And then he did 48 Hours, Eddie Murphy and Nick Nolte, and then, you know, another 48 Hours, a bunch of other films, you know. And he produced he produced, produced the Aliens, um, I guess all the Aliens after the first one films, you know. Um, and a bunch of other stuff, TV stuff and all that stuff. But this movie, it's, uh, as Christopher Waltz is in it, uh, uh, what do you call it? William Defoe, right? Uh, this other so actress, she was really good that I never heard of. She's perfect for the role, though. Um, oh, Benjamin Bratt was amazing. I really was. I mean, he, you know, because the, the stuff that he's done lately, when he just speaks Spanish and stuff like that, uh, and it's just, it was just, hey, if you look, and, and it's, it's, it's a Western, so if you see it on a big screen, there's a couple of black people that were really, they were really good too. I'll get back to that in a second, but let me say something. But when you see it on a big screen, because it's a Western, it's just really good. The cinematography or the, the hues, the, the, the thing is like perfect. It's like a small film, almost like a 50s film, the way the way they did it. But, but it's still, it's just real filmmaking. That's why you have to see it on a big screen. That's why it's so important. Well, it's not important to you, but it's important to me. So they're going to have a little screen. People, I don't know what they're going to say, but I rave about Benjamin Bratt. You know, you know him from Law & Order back in the day. I never really appreciated him on Law & Order. It was good to have it. But there's, I think he was in Syriana. But he's in a bunch of stuff that I've seen. Like, like, like have, they played a Spanish person, something like that. And um, Spanish, I mean, Spanish-speaking person. But this one, he's like, whoa. Really, really, really good. He liked the 
I mean, it's just really good. I can't rave enough of this. So I'm really glad I saw the film. And uh, it's, 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 it's a really, it's, I mean, if you ever catch it, if you can catch it on a big screen, that's, that's what you do. But here's what I appreciate about the film. Because they have, they have basically three black people, when I say three, they two black people speaking parts, um, one that set it off and the other thing. And, uh, and uh, uh, so it's two brothers, well, I want to, I'm going to give away the plot, whatever. But uh, one brother hooks up with Christopher Walsh. Well, Christopher Walsh, yeah, but he hasn't hooked. He's forced to hook up with Christopher Walsh to go after the bad guy. Or, or go after the situation. This so so supposedly kidnapping, and it's the the kidnapper is this other is this other brother. I won't get into the whole thing, but but like that. So that's let's say so that's they're both sort of innocent, good guy kind of things, right? And then and then. Uh, and, and there's a, a stagecoach, you know, and a stagecoach, the, the real bad guy, the, the guy, that the money bad guy, the, 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 the I would say the, the, the white supremacist with money kind of guy, you know, the really, you know, like that. He's taking a stagecoach to, uh, you know, to where they, they in Mexico, to down in Mexico. But his, uh, in the stage, for, there was two like nuns, right? Traveling nuns, I guess going down to Mexico to do missionary work, right? But one was white, one was black. Which is kind of interesting, you know. So it was really like a one of those politically correct films, if you want to talk like that. But it wasn't. But you didn't feel like it was politically correct. That's what I re one of the things I really appreciated about it, right? Uh, so I, I'm not going to spoil it anymore. Um, so let me just leave it like, like that. So if you again, if you get to see, uh, uh, I, I'll put it. In, I'll put it in the notes. Uh, name name of the film, uh, Walter Hill, something like a uh, something like the dollars in there. In, I don't know. It's a, Riding for a dollar, dollar, dollars in there someplace. All right, so I'll check you all later. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go.